What up, what up, world? This is your homeboy, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm going to talk about which one's better, ASCAP or BMI. Stay tuned. All right, so this whole thing started when I got an email from TuneCore. Um, I signed up for TuneCore Publishing Administration, and then after I signed up for Publishing Administration, they noticed that there was something missing. The thing that was missing was my connection with a PRO, but I already am connected with a PRO as a publishing company and as a songwriter. That PRO is ASCAP. They are not the first PRO that I went with. At first, I was registered with CSAC when I first started my career. And just a FYI, in order to be a part of CSAC, you have to either be invited or send in a request to actually be a part of their society. At the time, I sent in a request and then I got back information that let me know that I was accepted. So after I left CSAC, I went to ASCAP. And whereas BMI is a collection of broadcast companies that have put together this society. Now they both have different histories and I learned some of their histories from a YouTuber named Tania Coates. So this problem, this question of whether or not ASCAP is better or BMI is better, led me to think I should do some more research and find out and investigate any truths behind this claim. So since the focus was making sure that TuneCore was telling the truth, that BMI was actually better, I needed to look a little deeper. So the video that gave me the most information was by Tania Coates. Tania worked in the music industry and has experience with all of these publishing questions. And since she has all of this experience, I wanted to watch her video and then find out a little bit more of ASCAP versus BMI. In her video, she detailed that the biggest difference between the two was the fact that one society was registered in more foreign countries than the other. So after watching her video, I was still skeptical, so I looked a little deeper. And the one place that I wanted to look at is their revenue. How much were they earning and how much were they paying out? So here's some of the difference between ASCAP and BMI. And I'm gonna start with the foreign agencies. ASCAP collects from 83 foreign agencies and BMI collects from 93 foreign agencies. The question that would give me a lot more details was in the revenue. So let's talk about the revenue of ASCAP versus what they paid out and the revenue of BMI and what they paid out. So both companies made a similar revenue. In 2019, ASCAP made about 1.27 billion and then BMI made 1.28 billion. As far as their payout, ASCAP paid out $1.18 billion last year. And then BMI paid out $1.19 billion last year. So wait a minute, what's the difference? Like, is it a few, what, thousand dollars, right? Millions of dollars? Like, <clears throat> is this difference so significant that I should be like, nah, I need to leave ASCAP or nah, I need to leave BMI. Like for me, the revenue really doesn't make that much of a difference between the two. They're paying out similarly and one is making slightly more than the other. There's also a couple other cases that I looked at. Tania mentioned in her video that the terms and agreements are a little bit foggy when it comes to ASCAP versus BMI. And so basically what she said is that ASCAP has some vague terms. ASCAP has the right to change the terms and agreements based off of what they feel they should change them to. And I don't know whether or not this is true, but it seems a little fishy that this company will give themselves some wiggle room with the contract. But at the same time, it doesn't really seem fishy because that's what corporations do, even though they're not for profit. She mentions that BMI is way more transparent about the things that they tell their clients. So it's clear at the moment that BMI seems to be 
a winner in this kind of tip for tat battle but the margin's so slim that i don't know that you can really tip the scale as far as size is concerned bmi is the largest society in the united states and then ascap is the second largest so let's talk a second about leaving one of these companies in order to leave ascap you have to do it in a three-month window um, about the time that you signed up for ASCAP. So based off the time that you signed up for ASCAP, there's a three month window that correlates with that date. I put a link down in the description in order to see what you need to do in order to break your agreement with ASCAP. On the other side with BMI, in order to break your agreement, you have to notify them no more than six months, but no less than three months before your agreement term is over. So for both companies, you really have to figure out when you signed up or when your agreement ends and then time it in such a way that you can switch to the other company. I'm not here to give you suggestions on whether or not you should quit ASCAP or quit BMI. My thing is, is that you have to do what's best for you. In my opinion, it is best for you to go ahead and think about what BMI has to offer you. Simply because you can sign up and get access to more foreign registrations. And because music is becoming more and more global, it's a good idea to make sure those registrations are done in other countries. But that doesn't mean that ASCAP isn't gonna catch up one day. The gap is only 10 different countries, so there's a chance that you might catch a little bit more down the road just by sticking where you are. Ultimately, the thing that you should realize is that you should have a PRO on your side. And I just wanna mention, you don't have to get a publishing company with either one of these PROs in order to collect your publishing side. I only recommend publishing administration when you have a lot of artists to work with and a lot of songs to register and you need that help. That's the best reason to use publishing administration. And in my case, it works out. But I'm not here to give you all the answers. What do you think? Leave your comments down in the comment section and let me know what, which one you feel is better. Like which one has worked out for you? Are there any horrible stories? And is there anything that you wanna tell us about your experience with ASCAP or BMI that would sway the conversation a little bit? Outside of that, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed. If this is your first time here, then welcome. If you're not new here, then thanks for coming back. So until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so the video is over now. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it. And then watch more videos about the same subject up here. And then another video that YouTube recommends down here. Peace.